Hello and you're very welcome to a video we're doing on potatoes. Uh, my name is Seamus and we're here in the west of Ireland. Let's begin with our own variety here. This is Pinellas. It's a very good flowery potato and uh, we've had great success with this. Our next variety here is a, a new one we're trying out and this particular one is Connect. Uh, it is a blight resistant variety so we're eager to see how this uh, pen pans out for us here. And finally we have another variety, uh, also blight resistant, and this one is called Blue Danube. And um, it has a sort of a purple skin to it. And inside flesh looks like this. And now, which brings us to the next thing, why did I chop up this perfectly wonderful potato? Well, sometimes if you want to uh, expand and to um, make your crop go further, you can um, take larger potatoes, uh, for example, like this one here. Um, it's kind of a long oval potato and it's perfect for cutting into two. Um, you will see that we have a variety of seed. This would be on the very large side. And these would be more, these are very good seed. But then you have, sometimes you have a seed like these, which are much smaller, and uh, you wouldn't expect as heavy a crop on these. But they will still produce uh, potatoes for you, and uh, if you take really good care of them. Um, when you cut uh, your potatoes, they will start out looking like this, with the flesh uh, fresh and moist. But after so many days, what happens is they will go dry, and I've added lime to this. This is a, let's say, a typical way that we would uh, treat potatoes. You would uh, dip them into uh, lime, especially when you have damaged the flesh, and that's to um, lessen the likelihood of anything below the ground uh, attacking your potatoes. So let us uh, do a demonstration here on how you would go about uh, cutting your potatoes to increase the number of seed potatoes that's available to you. You first of all want to take a look at how many eyes that you have uh, in a potato. So in here we can see there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh there's probably seven or eight eyes. Uh, some of them have ten or, or thereabouts. So we want to roughly more or less as much as possible to keep the potato about even so that there is still a nice size uh, of a potato left. So what I'm going to do here is I think I'm going to go I think I'm going to go like this. It's not a perfect science but and this will leave me a sizable potato. I would favor it a little bit more on this one but even on the smaller size of a, the potato that's left over it's still quite a lot larger than the smallest seed potatoes that you sometimes get when you purchase these seeds and um, this will be work perfectly fine and if you have a little bit of lime to dip it into the lime and uh, protect it that much more and you go about the process then of having a hole or digging a hole into the ground um, you can use what they call it here in Ireland they call it a stevine and it step on it and it will um, they make a hole but anything really will do the same thing if you want you can dig a hole depending on the number of potatoes you're, you're choosing to uh, put down and um, another way is actually you could have if you have soil that's available you could simply cover it and mold it over and you'll do that anyway with your potatoes and that has a couple of different benefits one it increases your yield but two it also protects your potatoes from um, turning into a green uh, color and getting to develop in a green skin if they're exposed to the sun and uh, which is poisonous if we consume it so uh, that's about all we have on this particular video and uh, we hope that you enjoy it and look forward to making more videos um, for you in the, in, in the near future so if you like please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up thank you very much for joining us today take care